Welcome to GetChemistryHelp.com. My name is Dr. Kent, and in this video, we're going to have a quick lesson on the difference between empirical and molecular formulas. Now, a molecular formula is a chemical formula that gives the actual number of atoms that are present in a compound. So this is generally the kind of formula you're used to writing when you're naming compounds. So you might have a compound tetraphosphorus decaoxide. So that's the actual number of atoms present, four phosphorus and 10 oxygens. Now that is different from the empirical formula because the empirical formula isn't the actual number, it's just the smallest whole number ratio of the atoms present. So for example, acetylene. Acetylene is a gas used in welding sometimes and its actual formula or molecular formula is two carbons and two hydrogens. Well two to two though isn't the smallest whole number ratio. I could reduce two to two down to one to one. So CH would be the empirical formula. Benzene is six carbons and six hydrogens. Well six to six could also be reduced down to one to one. So acetylene and benzene, while they have different molecular formulas, they have the same empirical formula. How about ribose? Well, ribose is a sugar found in your body, and its actual formula is five carbons, 10 hydrogens, and five oxygens. Well, how could we reduce that down to the simplest whole number ratio? Well, five to 10 to five could be reduced down to one to two to one. And one more example, how about CO2, carbon dioxide? Well, one to two is already the simplest ratio. So in this case, the empirical formula would be the same as the molecular formula. Well, let's try a few examples here. What would the empirical formula of hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, be? Well, two to two could be reduced down to one to one, so HO. How about trinitrogen hexaoxide? Well, three to six, if I were to divide them both by three, I would get the simplest ratio is one to two, so NO2 would be the empirical formula. Well, how about magnesium iodide, MgI2? Well, this has a one to two ratio, so much like carbon dioxide, we can't reduce one to two down to a smaller whole number ratio. Anything smaller than that would have to be fractions, so MgI2 is also the empirical formula. How about glucose, C6H12O6? Well, the molecular formula has six carbons, 12 hydrogens, six oxygens. What would the empirical or the simplest formula be? Well, six to 12 to six could be reduced down to one to two to one. So C, H, two, O. And how about number five here? This is called octane. Well, C8, H18, that's the actual or the molecular formula. What would the smallest whole number ratio? Well, eight to 18 is a little trickier to figure out because you can't just divide them both by eight. You can't even do it both by six or four. But if you divide them both by two, you could make them smaller whole numbers and that would turn them into C4H9. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick lesson on empirical versus molecular formulas. In our next video, we're going to learn how to determine the empirical formula given the percent composition. So we'll see you back here next time at getchemistryhelp.com. Thank you.